Hey guys, it's Lexi. If you're a new viewer, thank you for watching. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for supporting. So, today's video is going to be my post relaxer wash day routine. If you didn't know, I've been, re I recently just relaxed my hair for the first time ever in January. I do have a video on that out, by the way. Um, so it's my first time ever relaxing my hair in January. And I stretched my hair out for three months. So I just got it recently relaxed, like, a week and a half ago um i didn't record that unfortunately for you guys sorry i forgot to record it but i just wanted to show you guys basically my post like relaxed routine i do have a regular like wash day routine video on my channel if you didn't watch that go watch that a lot of you guys like that video of like my weekly wash routine the difference is with this is that i'm going to do like a steaming i'm using different products all that um throughout the video because you know when your hair is post relax, it's more fragile at the it's at a more fragile state, so you have to give it extra tender, loving and care. And if you wanna know how I got my hair to look that nice, shiny, healthy, and moisturized after just relaxing it, continue watching the video. Okay guys, so in the shower I'm just about to drench my hair in water. And do you guys see how much longer my hair got since I first got it relaxed? Like when she cut it, it was really cut up to my shoulders, you guys. So, I'm really happy about the growth. But now I'm just in the shower. I'm just going to drench all my hair in water. And then you're going to see I'm going to use this Sulfur 8 shampoo to clarify my hair. Now, the reason I highlight clarify is because there's a difference between just a regular shampoo and a clarifying shampoo. I'm using clarifying shampoo, one, because I feel it's good to clarify your hair once a month. Regular shampoos, yeah, they clean your hair, but they don't really get to clean it, clean it. Clarifying shampoos, they're going to get rid of all the, the dandruff, all the built-up oil that regular shampoo can remove. Just everything, basically. Like, really deep, clean, and cleanse your hair. So, I feel like it's important that you at least do this once a month, because this can really, like, strip your hair due to the fact that it's that clarifying. But, y'all, what I mean is your scalp is going to feel, like, squeaky, squeaky clean. Like, oh my gosh. And I definitely needed that because my scalp at the moment just felt very flaky and stuff. So I didn't like that. So I like how this also combats with dandruff and stuff. But um, yeah, please make sure you know the difference between clarifying and just cleaning your hair with shampoo. Because there is a difference, you guys. Okay, so after washing that out, I'm using this Carol Daughters Wash Day Delight Jelly to Cream Conditioner. Um, I like this conditioner because I like how thick it is, but I also like the fact of, because it's a jelly, it has a lot more slip to it. So it makes it much more easier to detangle your hair, which is why I like it. It's just something new that I'm trying. Honestly, I honestly don't care what conditioner I pick up for the simple fact I don't use conditioner as like a deep conditioner because I use deep conditioners for that. I just use conditioner just to help to really detangle and bring back some moisture in my hair, especially after using a clarifying shampoo. Okay, so here I'm just showing you guys the shed hair that I had. As a key note, I want you guys to also understand that after like recently relaxing your hair, you are going to have more shedding than usual because of the relaxer so just keep that in mind if you do see more shed here than usual that's just going to be in the beginning though not all throughout but now i'm going in with this emergency uh, deep treatment this is like a spanish one i found in my beauty supply store and y'all i love this one it's thick and my hair loves thick products it just like sucks it all up and two not only is it a deep conditioner but it does have protein benefits in it which is what I really need at the moment especially after being post relaxed because you know that relaxer just stripped your hair with protein and all that so you just want to bring build those bonds back so that's why I'm doing this protein treatment I really do like this um I don't know if like you could get it online or whatever I didn't check but I know I just found that in my beauty supply but whatever conditioner works for you guys just use it 
Next, I'm going to go under the steamer. Y'all, this was my favorite part. I got this steamer from Amazon. I'll definitely link it below. So I'm going to go under here for 10 minutes only because, you know, like I said, it was a protein treatment. So you can't leave it in for too long. But y'all, steaming is... Like, when I never put me going to that? Like, oh my god. The hydration, the shine, the moisture, like my hair felt so alive after this like I really can't furthermore go into detail how amazing it was definitely definitely recommend steaming your hair at least once a month twice a month if you can it's just so much benefit to you guys definitely search it up I'm telling you it's really good for your hair so now after letting washing the conditioner out and letting my hair um, towel dry with my microfiber towel it is time to blow dry now, me personally, that I found out on my relaxer journeys that my hair does not like to be air dry. Yeah, like I tried so many different ways. I tried so many different products. Like I'm telling you, like my hair just does not like to be air dry. My ends get really dry and brittle, and my hair just doesn't. Even if I put product in it, it doesn't burn, y'all. It does not matter what I use or what I do. It just does not like to be air dry. And it's crazy because I recently seen like online and stuff that people are saying that air drying is actually more damaging to your hair than it is using a blow dryer or something like that which i found like wow i didn't even know that so i found that my hair just likes to be blow dry i just like to blow dry my hair i feel like if you're afraid of heat i guess you could say one thing you could do is you could go under if you have you could go under a hooded dryer i sometimes do that i find that's work because it's not direct heat you understand i feel like anything that's not like direct heat won't be as damaging which is also why i like this roller blush that's a roller blush <laughs> this is also why i like this roller brush because i feel like it's not as direct as just putting a blow dryer to my hair like y'all do y'all see that shine the body the flow like ugh, my hair just looks so healthy but um yeah like i was saying i feel like those two ways even if you use a blow dryer with a comb, comb attachment i feel like that's good too. Just anything that's not like directly just pointing the blow dryer to your hair, I feel won't be as damaging. But if you feel like air dryer works for you, you can stick to it. But please do your research on it because I actually searched it up and y'all, it is actually doing more damage, long term damage, as to say, than a blow dryer. Yeah, y'all, but look how nice and healthy and flowy and just hydrated my hair looks. Like I'm telling y'all, this steaming treatment is does it for me it just really does it for me so now i'm just gonna just moisturize my hair with these products um i didn't put oil on my scalp only because i wanted to style my hair afterwards like later on in the day and i didn't want my hair to be like oily and weighed down so i just used these products and then i just sealed it with this um you're gonna see later on with just like a light serum and that was about it for this hair routine you guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like down below and comment and I definitely 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 want to do a detailed video on just my relaxed hair journey so far so if you guys do want to see that comment that down below but yeah this was a very easy simple wash day but yet effective y'all like my hair just felt super super hydrated it felt healthy if I'm moisturized it didn't feel dry nothing at all and it's going on right now it's going on day three and it still feels the same but like by the way i didn't like section my hair off and put product in each section only because later on in the day i did want to style my hair and i didn't want it to be drenched in products as you see my hair gets way down very fast but yeah i'm telling you just this amount of product is enough especially since i did the steaming treatment and a deep treatment this is just enough <laughs>
once again thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe love you guys